When you're looking to put together alphabets, letters together to spell out different sayings or words or names, on the Fav Creative icon, you're gonna start by going over to the Sequence Creator. When you touch it, you're gonna notice that a whole new screen comes into play, and we have the option to choose decorative stitches, which by the way, we can actually incorporate with alphabets, but let's focus on the stitch fonts that are in this machine. You'll notice that there are are a handful of different letters, but some of them aren't fully the American alphabets, if that's what you're looking for. Now, of course, when I look at this, I'll see these as decorative stitches, even though they're not uh, specifically alphabets. We do have the grand alphabet in here. Look at the size of it. It's 17 millimeters. Uh, wide. So as we type out uh, ABC right there, you can see that it is going to be much bigger than you were expecting. Most common is going to be like that block alphabet. So if you take a look, you'll have options for uppercase. You can change it, the whole keyboard, by choosing a lowercase option. And you can see that we have it starting to spell out. Now, people always ask me, well, which way is it going to sew? This is exactly the way it's going to sew. So if we just kind of reimagine a presser foot at the top of your screen, that this is how it's going to stitch out. So remember, what you see on screen is what you're going to get on your fabric. So if you like the size that you're seeing here, then that is the size that you will have. Once you uh, have put in your items, or if you need to delete something out and start again. Um, so if we were to just type in Faf, for example, in this font, uh, when we go ahead and touch OK, you will notice that it will stitch out fa fa fa. All right, so definitely using your stitch repeat option when you go to sew this. So you just get it to stitch out one time unless multiple times is your choice. If you do want a, um, a space in that, then we definitely would want to add a space at the end of FAF there. So we can go to the Stitch Creator and add a space into that area. So let's take a look at some of the other fonts. You've got a comic alphabet option here. Just do a quick like uh, look at those outline options and script. So those will be other choices that you have. When you want to save what you have put into memory, your heart here is what takes you over to the save option, which will put it into my SoNet. You could even come in and give it a name. If I just type in, how about I'll just type in Faf. I know that's not what I have on the screen, but that gives me an idea of what I could and how I could save it for retrieving it after I turn the machine off. Now I did mention that we can add in a decorative stitch. So if you were looking to add in some stitches that might be, let's see here, I was looking for, about any of the little, uh, well, any, any stitch actually. So if you wanted to put one in and then, so if you want to mirror image it, you can actually add it in. And if you wanted to add something back at the beginning, you have complete control of where that cursor sits and how and where you want to add that next decorative stitch to the beginning or end of your pattern or in the middle. Uh, again, once you touch OK, then it's ready to stitch out whatever combination of stitches that you put in. So there are so many different combinations, whether it's letters or decorative stitches. Uh, when you do go into the decorative stitch option, which we have done a separate video on, you're going to notice that you have a directional stitches you can even put in there. And if you're interested in learning more, of course, everything that we talk about, um, we do add quite a bit to our FAF Stitching Cosmos online course, which you can find links to free videos to watch in the description below this YouTube video.